Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Mi 11X. As you can see, Xiaomi 11X or the Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. Guys, this is an uh, latest version of Flyme OS. This is a Meizu, you know, Meizu. Meizu smartphone. The operating system used in the Meizu is the Flyme OS. Let me show you. You won't get any app drawer here. Just go to settings and select your My Device. You can see, yeah. Uh, it's up to 6 GB expandable memory has been given virtual RAM and here Android version is 30 and fly me OS this is 10.2 sorry 10.23.8.12 .8 ported by Ragnar he is the developer of the ROMs really good guys this kind of uh, implementation I really like this uh, and this is an Android version 13 they haven't mentioned any kernel here I'll come back here just this is a typical settings panel you get it's smooth actually i haven't faced this much smooth ui in my recent times it's really really smooth you just don't get any app drawer here as you can see if i swipe here you'll get this search bar and left swipe you get notifications and if you long swipe from right side you'll get this quick settings panel very much handy and it's exactly uh, what we can expect in the android i mean it's similar to ios but still you get all the options as you can see wi-fi cellular bluetooth again uh music player just i'll turn this off yeah music player do not disturb play controls all these quick settings files if i go into edit section there are some more options you can enable or disable from here which is cool in my opinion definitely you love the ui it is definitely a differentiating factor the ui style is very different you also get this kind of dialer here if i go into settings you guys can see here uh, you get these kind of options here power button and call flash alert on incoming call if you want you can even flip that in order to make the silence of any call you get vibrate on connection voice message call recordings is also implemented here if you want you can record individually by specifying the context what you want to uh, record the call power button and call other things i explained here this is a dialer you get in this Mizu ROM. Also, this uh, messaging application you will get. It's quite good. Nothing browser has been pressured. I just use this Firefox Mozilla. If want, you can use Chrome or any other type of uh, whatever the browsers you can use here. And I also install this open camera app. This is a basic camera, but you will get a very good output if you know how to customize them in the video also. Yeah, just enable you'll get this options you can select the exposure everything is given it looks simple it's only around 10 mb or like that open camera but it will make a huge difference once you come to know all these options how to enable and adjust that even settings also you get plenty here i just installed there is no any pre-installed camera application in this uh fly me os case hence i use this open camera but if you want to use any gcam ports that also you can do and safety net status as you can see it will get filled obviously uh you need to manually do it with magics but i don't recommend but if you want to experience this smooth way just go and flash this rom and use it for particular time and this all the applications it directly go into that actually the folder will not get opened as you can see uh this all some applications principal yeah now it has been opened you can see this all the applications you get here you can even zoom out and zoom in like this this is a calculator you get pre-installed uh we'll be showing some benchmark results soon yeah and DRAM information let's see that yeah this is how the DRAM information level one certified hence you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom will be seeing the geekbench course i have already recorded that i'm searching for yeah gallery all photos yeah this is a selfie i took uh with the open camera but i know you guys can use any other gcam ports here and 1270 is the single score and 3110 is the multi-score and android version is 13 and linux 4.19.296 real king version 14.4 ghost kernel has been used for this mi 11x or the redmi k40 or the poco f3 mine is mi 11x guys 86 gb 1.8 version and i have done the 100 test cpu throttling test results
as you can see maximum is around 293 average is 260 and minimum is of 240 million jps and it's throttled to 86 percent of its max performance and this uh, little bit of battery life you can see here studies and this how charging animation you will be seeing here which is similar to miui but it is little bit enhanced i can say this is a miju fly me os guys and this is the settings will be moving into actual settings now this is an uh, whatever we call floating windows but in order to go to full settings you need to press settings from here this is a settings panel typical uh, mizu i mean the fly me os you get my device information here and network and internet you get plenty of options here smart 5g mode 5g is working fine no need to worry about that just the worrying factor is the safety and status you can fix manually and WLAN you get this kind of options nothing fancy here network and share you get plenty of options again USB tattering you will get here Ethernet tattering also you can enable or disable from here Bluetooth tattering is also again VPN also you can select Bluetooth devices and advanced settings you get these kind of options here battery notification if you disable that you can do that from here received files also you can check out from here these are the things you need to consider guys and connected devices you get again vpn as i said before mizu mutual transmission it's only working in a uh, particular i mean the official room don't use that and vpn is given cast screen is given cross screen connect is also given print services and private dns also is given in the display options again you get default and dark mode as you see in the screenshot of geekbench and all it was completely in the dark mode yesterday now i'm using default mode and night mode settings you get some customization here too you can even customize them based on the time also sunset to sunset and the default and soft soft means it's not in a pitch black condition we'll show that as you can see it will be gray kind of things and if you want to dim the wallpaper you can do that dark apps you can manually select from here if certain app is not completely optimized into dark mode you can disable in this dark apps which is quite interesting uh, but you can also force them to act as a dark mode you get eye friendly mode if you enable that you will be getting option again scheduling and blue light reduction strength you can adjust the intensity of it refresh rate again 60 and 120 hertz has been given dynamically is it refreshing i don't think so it's completely in 120 hertz but app support should be there status bar again you get these kind of options nothing fancy here to screen zoom and font size i mean screen uh, customization you can do from here easy mode is given but i don't recommend it all screen display mode as you can see open close you can do that uh, smart keep bright screen just enable that auto rotate also if you want you can disable from here now moving into always on display and lock screen you will get plenty of options as you can see currently i'm using this uh, within a second as you can see this is how the always on display looks like you get all the necessary notifications here yeah we'll be showing that and this are the options you get if you press something like this and you also get this options to enable them time uh, calendar lunar calendar or notifications again battery indication or weather indications and some other things you can see on the skin those things you can enable or disable from here aod notification animation also you can enable or disable some of them are given i kept just screen on if want you can change them from here access notification shared poster options is also given auto lock there's nothing but double tap to wake is also given here uh, remaining to sound settings here now moving into sound settings you guys can see here this is how it looks turn off media volume when mute if want you can do that multiple applications also you can customize the volume settings which is quite interesting in my opinion also you get different modes here you can select based upon your liking and uh, situation and this is the do not disturb mode enable dnd if want you can do that and you get plenty of options here once you flash the wrong you can underneath go them and utilize these options you get phone ringtone sms alert and other alert notifications you can select here and haptic feedback strength also you can adjust from here if want you can make it strong also it is quite good it's not equivalent to any pixel experience kind of uh, uh, feedback but it is good in my opinion notification management again you get sticky notifications if you want you can enable or disable from here again uh, this is a notification management and system appearance you get this kind of uh, customization lock again you get simple here 
change wallpaper and show luna update if you want you can enable or disable from here and launcher again you get this kind of options here i can create title size icon size change the wallpaper also you can do that from here uh, as you can see you get these active live wallpapers i will show that yeah we'll go into again uh, system appearance and wallpapers and select this passion now home screen it looks like this apply yeah once you lock and unlock as you can see it looks like this uh, it's kind of a me live wallpapers it's similar to that but it is cool in my opinion you're definitely going to love that once you flash this round this all you get and again act alive wallpaper as i said before notification led light again you can customize them fly me selection if you want you can go back to some older selections here historical themes also you can download from here now navigation and shortcuts again you get plenty here as you can see android navigation bar style if you want you can do that navigation bar means it's a gesture soon but you don't get any app drawer here smart touch is given keyboard response when written if you want you can hide or if you want to get it written you can enable from your screenshot options are also given in terms of customization double press power button no response if you want you can customize to camera uh, fingerprint unlock and face unlock let's see uh, what was happened actually for fingerprint unlock uh, animation fireworks i kept and always when screen off but for some reason fingerprint unlock as you can see yeah it is getting unlocked even the face unlock is also very much quick in my opinion as you can see it is also quick enough to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock you get some options here if you want you can check them out uh privacy permissions apps again you get these kind of options here battery this i already shown you the battery life is quite good here i haven't expected this much good in this fly me os of mezu uh, location settings are also updated here or uh, digital health you get some options here language and time and other things you can check it out no special features or anything like that it is included in the system itself uh, this cool animation i really like it and this now uh, echo battery results you guys can see here this is how i got the results here the battery life is good and charging speed and charging animation also i don't have problem the only thing is uh, the safety net status fixed they would have been given out of the rom but it has not given uh, but overall it's a very good rom guys if you have first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and follow this mi 11x or poco f3 or redmi k40 there is a dedicated group available in whatsapp i will give the link in the description and flashing method i used twrp recovery this time it will be going to work in orange fox recovery also use the global latest firmware or else you can directly flash the rom this is how the fly me logo you get that's it guys in this video if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now